Hi, my name is Debbie Hicks and I own Too Cute Embroidery. I am creating this video to help you to work with zip files and understand a little bit about them, how to download them, how to create them, and how they work. Zip files are basically compressed files or files that are squished down so that they can move faster over the internet when we're sending them. And many files are sent this way, whether they're documents, embroidery, format files, um, just a variety because moving files that are very large is time consuming and difficult for some of the internet servers. I thought what I'd do is show you first how to download zip files. I'm at the website for clipartopolis.com. You can see it here in my browser window and here as well. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of their homepage and double click with my left mouse button so that I can download the set. You can see now it gives me the choice of what format I want to download. Below we can see the different items that are included in the freebies that they're providing people. And I digitize in JPEG, so I'm going to select that and double, oh, just click once. Now I'm being asked if I want to open or save this file. When we're working with a zip file, you'll see this icon here on the left hand side and it looks almost like a file cabinet in a vise. Or that's what it looks like to me. You can see the file name here has a name with the extension .zip so you know that it is a zipped or compressed file. Okay, I want to save this so I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to be asked where I would like to save it on my computer. The default that I have set up is to go to my desktop, which you can see here in this um, in my drop-down choices. If you have another place that you're saving your artwork, um, I have some artwork here. I'll go to see, I'll go to my artwork file, and I have a folder with Clip Artopolis, so I'm going to click here and then press save. Okay, now now it's actually downloaded the set and it gives me the little tone to let me know it's done. So I'm going to close the website out and then I'm going to go into my computer file. I'm going to go to where I had it saved in my artwork here, Clipartopolis. And I had done this previously. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. Okay. By looking at the files here, you can see that I have the same icon here, which tells me that this is the zip file. And to unzip this so that I can work with it, what I want to do is unzip it. The program that I use for zipping and unzipping is called PowerZip. Another popular program is WinZip, and they're both available online at either www.powerzip.com or winzip.com. I find that PowerZip is often easier for people who don't have a lot of computer experience and I like it because it's just real clear cut and simple. I'll show you. Um, to unzip this file all I need to do is place my arrow or cursor on top of the file that I want to unzip, right click, and I'll be given these choices. I can either unzip and have it um, give it another choice of another place to go. Normally I just use unzip and have it unzip the folder giving it the same name which is what I'm going to click. So I click once there and you can see now that another folder has been created with the same name but this one is unzipped. So I can double click on it, click on it again and I'm going to change this view and how I see these things to thumbnails scroll down and here we can see the different JPEGs of the artwork. I'll put on film strips so you can see them a little bit better. Okay, here's the credit information to give to Clip Artopolis and the individual excuse me, artwork files. So that file is all ready to use and you can access all the designs. Now, 
if you have something that you want to send over the internet that's large that you want to zip, it's quite easy to create a zipped file. Let me show you how I do this. I'm going to go into one of my embroidery design files and I will show you, I will zip one for you. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to find just a regular set of designs that I've done. Okay, if we look at this Beach Flamingo set, I'll double click in that folder and we can see, I want thumbnails, we can see the art format designs and the JPEGs, whoops, come back, the JPEGs that are included with the thread chart information and a text file. We can see all of the items that are in our folder. I'm going to get out of this, go up one step. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before when I unzipped. I'm going to point to the folder that I want to zip and right click with my mouse and I'm going to come down and choose Zip, Create, and this is the same name that I have currently on the folder, except it's going to compress it and give it a new extension, which is .zip. So I click on that once, and I'm going to use the default compression settings, and now I have my compressed file right here. It's very easy to zip and unzip. It's just a matter of getting used to working with the files and um, getting comfortable with them. So I hope that this helps you out and I hope that you'll come and see me at my site um, if you're interested in learning more about your computer, learning to use Embird, digitize with Embird Studio because I'm putting together a lot of instructional videos. So have fun with your embroidery and come see me soon. Take care.